Can fix vapo rub cure toenail fungus? Watch this video and let's find out. So toenail fungus is one of the most common things I see in my practice in regards to skin infections, and it's very difficult to treat. You may have heard people using Vicks VapoRub to treat toenail fungus. Does it actually work? So there are three ingredients that are in Vicks VapoRub. Camphor is an agent that is found in the bark and the wood of the camphor tree. Vicks VapoRub uses synthetic camphor, so it's different than the actual original camphor. Is it effective against fungal microorganisms? Actually, no. It's FDA approved for the use of skin treatments for pain, itching, cold sores, bug bites, but not toenail fungus. The second ingredient in Vicks VapoRub is something called eucalyptus oil. Interestingly, eucalyptus oil is actually an antiseptic and has indications as an antifungal agent. Vicks actually contains 1.2% of eucalyptus oil. There was a 2015 study that showed eucalyptus oil was successful in treating toenail fungus that consisted of the superficial white onychomycosis, which is a very superficial topical fungal infection of the toenails. And it's very characteristic and has a small white discoloration of the toenail. It's sometimes also referred to as a lateral or side infection of the toenail. It's very mild and different from the thick, deformed, and crumb fungal nails that you may see. The third ingredient in Vicks VapoRub is something called menthol and menthol is extracted for the peppermint plant. Vicks VapoRub contains 2.6% of menthol and it's actually not used as an antifungal for the organisms that cause nail fungus although it does have some antifungal properties. Menthol contains that peppery smell that's in Vicks VapoRub and can actually be kind of appealing to rub on your toes and your feet if they do have a stinky odor. So what's the conclusion? There is actually some benefit to using Vicks VapoRub. In fact, a 2015 study found that the eucalyptus oil was effective as an antifungal agent against the superficial white onychomycosis or the mild toenail infections. So I hope this answers your questions. If you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to all of our videos because I have a ton more coming. You may like some of these other videos I have posted here and stick around for the next video that we have coming your way.